five reasons why you would want to live in Niagara, or at least visit Niagara, but mostly live in Niagara. One, the beaches. So beaches and waterways are just fantastic. They beat anything Toronto or Northern Ontario has to offer. Basically, you have Waverly Beach and in Fort Erie, and you have Nickel Beach in Fort Erie, you have uh, Grimsby Beach waterfront. and. Uh, beachfront. So all these beaches, most of them are complimentary or free for residents. If you're visiting, yes, then you may have to pay for some of those beaches. Um, you also have waterways. So you basically have water trails throughout Welland, um, on the Welland Canal, through Thorold. Um, you have uh, beach access and waterway, waterways in Grimsby, Long Point. So Long Point has an amazing sunsets and, and uh, sunrises that you can, that are just gorgeous. So Lot 13 is in Welland. It was an original lift bridge. Um, it's one of the widest. Um, so people find that fascinating, but the most visited and celebrated lock system that we have across Welland Canal. Um, if you're fascinated with ships and how they transport systems and still do it to this day, which is really cool to watch when they displace water and allow the large barge ships to come through or sometimes cruise ships, depending on their size, um, is uh, lock seven. So lock seven is a uh, twin gate system and it's where the sea meets or water meets the mountain because you're actually differentiating above sea level 350 feet and fascinating at the same time that they get to do that so arts and theater so you have the shaw festival in niagara the lake with many many um, opportunities for theater there you have the Rose Lawn Theater that is in um, Port Colburn, which is made out of a beautiful Victorian home. Uh, and Grimsby Art Gallery. So there's lots to see and do in Niagara. And let's talk about restaurants and pubs and wineries. So restaurants, beyond a doubt, there are so many. I mean, Terrace on the Water, um, in Welland and a Rise Above in St. Catharines are two of my favorite. Um, so these are areas that you can visit that have, you know, specialty foods for those that don't eat meat. But of course, there's lots of restaurants to accommodate meat eaters. Um, there's uh, McGilligan's Pub and Restaurant, which is based on an Irish theme. They collected all kinds of old pub relics and set them up in a new pub atmosphere that's fantastic and their food's awesome of course their drinks they have unlimited um, types of scotches and whiskeys so they, they have everything that you would need for family but also if you want to go on a date there, there's lots of opportunities there um, wineries of course there's <music> megalomaniac which is my favorite favorite winery in Vineland which predominantly I feel they do their best for white wines but they have red wines as well it's just I don't drink red wine so white's my favorite um let's talk about architecture so so Niagara's steeped with architecture. We have Welland Courthouse is made of limestone. It's a fantastic example of neoclassicism. Um, you have repurposed architecture, um, Johnny Rocco's, uh, the Keg and St. Catharines are just two that, off the top of my head that are amazing because they've cleaned them up, Research re surface them, repurpose them. Now they're restaurants, they were factories. So 
fire hall and Thorold is fantastic. Like you could go on a self-guided tour for that. Then you have the festivals and arts. So you have wine festivals. You have wine festivals usually in September, one coming up, usually huge. Um, St. Catharines usually heads it with a, with, it used to be called Grape and Wine. Now I think it's just called the Wine Parade. Um, I'm not sure, I'd have to look that up, but yeah. So you have that and then all the wineries and then they, they go to Montebello Park and then you can just sit and enjoy the music and the free concerts and enjoy wine. Um, you have um, the car shows. They do car shows in Niagara Falls and Port Colburn and uh, many other places in, in Niagara. They have the beachfront, waterfront um, supper um, with live concerts and just sit right on the lake and fantastic view, great music. And of course, they have all the supper trucks there. Um, you have have the Marshville which is one of my favorite Marshville festivals coming up this Labor Day weekend so it's uh, basically I believe it's Friday Saturday Sunday and that's celebrating everything that is old everything that was created before we were born our ancestors had to deal with to live and eat and they share that and it's just a fantastic festival so <gasps> reasons why you would want to live in Niagara or you would want to visit. So if you need to know more, um, I'm here every Tuesday at noon doing a new video. Please check out my YouTube channel. Um, it has lots of information about um, local events and of course the market and everything I do as a realtor. All right, great. Thank you. Have a great day.